Well, guys, look over there. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish can only eat mussels because these creatures also move very slowly so it is still possible for starfish to chase them. However, there are also starfish that prey on fish, small animals, and coral. This is puffer fish. There are various types of puffer fish, some are small, some are large, some have long spines, some are short. Small pufferfish can be kept together with other types of fish. There is lobster. Lobsters can live for decades, some species can even live hundreds of years. For example, North American lobsters and European lobsters are sea lobsters that can live up to 100 years. This is a moray eel. Moray eels also have mucus like other eels, in some types of moray, the mucus contains poison. Moray eels have thicker skin with high density. This is manta ray. Manta rays are ovoviviparous where the eggs hatch while still inside the mother's body. A female manta can carry two baby mantas in her body at once. The manta's gestation period itself is not known for certain. This is blue whale. Blue whales are the largest animals ever to live on our planet. They feed almost exclusively on krill, straining huge volumes of ocean water through their baleen plates, which hang from the roof of the mouth and work like a sieve. There is an octopus. Octopuses are mollusks belonging to the Cephalopoda class. They have eight arms and are often known for their intelligence and ability to change skin color to adapt to the environment. Well guys, look! There is crab! Crabs have teeth in their stomach. If you look at a crab at a glance, you will only see its shell, antennae, legs and claws. However, if you turn the crab's body over you will see that their stomach has teeth. This is, Gurnard fish. Despite its common name, the purple flying Gurnard does not fly. It can however, walk on the bottom by alternatively moving the pelvic fins and short pectoral fin rays. This is mouth bass. Large mouth bass is a highly adaptive fish and can be found in a variety of freshwater habitats, including lakes, rivers, and swamps. However, this fish prefers habitats that have dense vegetation. This is a hermit crab. The hermit crab will shed its old shell and make its body unable to move for some time, as if it were dead. Even though they are small, hermit crabs actually have quite a long lifespan. You know, hermit crabs in the wild can live for 30 years. This is lemon shark. Lemon sharks are not very brightly colored. They are more of a tawny color, giving them a muddy appearance. This makes them perfectly colored to match the sandy bottom of the environment in which they hunt. This is a jellyfish. Even though the jellyfish has died, it is still dangerous. This is because its tentacles, which are equipped with nematocysts, contain poison and still sting even when they are dead. Well guys, look over there. This is ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. This is a dugong. Dugongs do have quite a long lifespan and can live around 60 to 70 years. Unlike their manatee cousins which often live in both fresh and salt water, dugongs only live in salt water habitats. This is dolphin. 
These dolphins have complex neurons that lead to self-awareness and recognizing and solving problems. For example, dolphins are able to play with games, solve puzzles, tools, and so on. This is a decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is a moray eel. Moray eels can be found in tropical and subtropical waters, although the largest of the species live in coral reefs and warm waters. They live at depths of several meters. Some of them also live in estuaries. This is squid. Squid live in water. Squids protect themselves from enemies by spraying an ink-like liquid into the water. So that the enemy cannot see it. At that time, the squid swims quickly to avoid its enemies. There is a clownfish. Despite the friendly name, clownfish can be quite aggressive. They are known to fiercely defend their territory, especially when they laid their eggs. They can attack divers when they come too close to anemone. Well guys, look. There is spotted eagle ray. Eagle rays are a group of stingrays in the family Miliobatidae. Most of its members consist of large stingray species that live in the open sea rather than on the seabed. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus was a large marine lizard that lived at the same time as the last dinosaurs. Reaching 12 meters in length, the Mosasaurus looked like a Komodo dragon with shark-like fins and tail. This is Hammerhead Shark. The hammerhead shark is 2 to 6 meters long with a very flat and wide front head so that it is shaped like a hammerhead and is equipped with two dorsal fins with a very asymmetrical tail fin, but the lower lobes are separated. This is garfish. This alligator fish or often referred to as crocodile fish has a shape similar to a crocodile. It has a long mouth, snout and body like a crocodile only it doesn't have legs. There is a stingray. Stingrays are marine animals that are flat and flat. Wide fins stretch along the body like wings. This fish also has a sharp spine with barbed edges and a tapered tail that resembles a whip. This is a puffer fish. He can inflate like a balloon. This is gulper eel. Gulpers are soft-bodied fish with tapered bodies, long tails, and greatly expandable stomachs that can accommodate large prey. Gulpers are usually solid black, and some are provided with light organs. Thank you for watching guys!